try and do it with my little webcam. Um, basically, that's that's the R10 regulator, um, and all the parts are laid out in in the order that they go back into the um, regulator. Um, in the regulator, there's a um, there's a, a hole with threads in. Um, it's a flat-bottomed hole, and in the bottom, there's a um, I think it's a four mil um, grub screw that works as a restrictor screw just to limit the airflow into the regulator. Um, and in the bottom of the hole there's an o-ring which um, goes around this which is basically a little spring guide um, and that um, holds that spring and that ball onto that seat the seat, this is a seat I've made but it's a copy of the um, original BSA one um, it's basically a little, I don't know, I guess it's like a little hat shape um, it's, it's um, 8 mils or just under 8 mils in diameter on the bigger section um, and around 5 mils on the inner section and just over a, a millimetre on each step um, and uh, about a 2.5 mil hole through the middle of it um, and then onto that there's a, a little o-ring um, then they um, drop into this which again is a, a flat bottomed hole um, there's already one in there um, as you can see I've got it so that the flat bit is sitting in the bottom of the hole with the o-ring facing up. Um, that's not the way BSA do it, they normally have it the other way around um, but we found with that, with the play in the o-ring um, you get the o-ring squishing up and down depending on how much pressure is coming in to the um, valve from the buddy bottle um, so you get play, so if you turn it around that seat actually sits hard against the body of this so you don't get the seat moving up and down so it makes it a bit more consistent um, I don't know, you can just about see it. Anyway, the, that's where the vent holes go in. Um, and this is the piston that comes standard in the in the BSA um, R10. And it basically goes into there and through the little hole, through the seat. And you can probably just about see it operating there. Um, and that just pushes the ball um, up and down to allow the air in and out. And cut it off basically um, and then on on the normal one there's an o-ring which sits around this and then that slots into there um, there is a problem with that um, which I'll come to later but that's the standard BSA way of doing it and then um, you have a, a stack of valve washers on a basically a guide which again is it's threaded and um, it, you just use an allen key to adjust the uh, red pressure which fits in there and you can just twiddle that to set the rig pressure um, and then basically that operates that which sits on there and then you have the spring guide in there the little ball and the spring and that whole lot shoots into that hole and basically the, the um, spring on that end keeps the ball shut until the valves push it open and you know you get the regulating happening like that. Um, the main problem I'm having obviously is is um, with this little valve um, I can make you know five seats um, to get one that doesn't leak 